Hi everyone, this is James and I have another video for you. I found a lot more connections that I believe is leading us to the soon rapture of the church or the tribulation starting. Now this screenshot I've used in my previous video but I did some updates to it. Um, I'm not going to talk about it much right now. I just wanted to show you this and at the end of the video you're going to see where I really believe the climax to all of this is going to happen. So let me continue. Now if you take a look here on the left hand side, now this is a date that I put in timeanddate.com's calendar calculator and I'm going to start with September 11, 2001. So we know that is 9-1-1 or 9-11 when the Twin Towers, you know, supposedly the, the planes hit the uh, towers and they fell or a bomb or whatever, whatever it was. Um, but anyway, if you take September the 11th, 2001 to December the 27th, 2022, okay, just passed, that's an interesting number here, 7777 or 7,777 days, okay, and 21 years, now 21 means exceedingly sinfulness of man, and then you've got three months and 16 days, so there's 316 just like John 316 255 and then 16 and then an interesting 1111 weeks so you know it's, it's quite an interesting uh, number set for that and uh, let me show you now from from 911 okay to December 27 2022 that's where I'm getting that number to February the 5th, 2023, so 2-5-2023, 2 that's 40 days, that's one month and nine days, so possibly 19, meaning faith, and the fifth day, okay, you got, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Sabbaths to the fifth day here, February the 5th, and then you've got five weeks and five days, so very interesting. And to the right of that, we've got January 11, 2023. That would be Ariel Sharon's anniversary of his death. And in the Kaduri prophecy, it said that uh, the Messiah would not come until the death of Ariel Sharon. Well, it's been, you know, uh, uh, several years, okay? But, you know, it could have been the Sabbath of the Jubilee year or sabbatical year, possibly. Um, so... You know, we believe that it's coming to fruition now. So, but anyway, January 11, 2023, February 5th, 2023, that is 25 days, okay? And 25 days means forgiveness of sins. That's the meaning connected to that word or that number. Now, if you take a look at this one here, September 23rd, 2017, that's when we believe the Revelation 12 sign happened. Okay, and that year in the Hebrew is 5777. Okay, so that's a very interesting number that you keep on seeing over and over again, repeated. And then 19, 1961 or 1,961 days, five years, four months, and 13 days. And you'll see why these numbers are significant later. Um, I'll come back to those uh, possibly. And then, if you remember this one here, 280 weeks and one day. Actually, I'm just going to drop down here before, so I don't forget. Now you got 280 weeks. This has got 281. Look at that, 280 weeks and one day. And then, okay, I'll actually start uh, at this slide now. Now, May 7, 1974, that's my birthday. To This is where the Ark of the Covenant was supposed to be found. So that uh, January the 6th, 1982, again, that's... 2801 days that's seven years seven months and 30 days and the reason why I put that in red uh, 30 means blood testament or blood blood testimony so that would be um, God sacrificed the Lamb of God Jesus Christ he shed his blood for the forgiveness of our sins and that's what was on the Ark of the Covenant on the mercy seat his blood dry blood that was actually alive when they tested in the labs but um, I recommend to watch the Ron White video. 
I'll put the link uh, in in the description uh, of this video. So if you want to take a look at that, it's it's an awesome video. Um, that was I was probably a big part of why uh, I became born again and a, and a believer. Uh, you know, not just a religious person, but I was actually a you know, believer, born again believer. Uh, background five years ago, almost six years ago, I believe. So let me let me go back over here to the left. Now, if you take a look at May Fourteenth, nineteen forty-eight, this is when Israel became a nation, and this is when we believe the fig tree generation or the prophecy clock uh, started, or, or really the end times. I mean, really near the end of the end times started to May Seventh, nineteen seventy-four. So my birthday. And that's 5 7 1974. And the year I was born again um, was 2017. And that's 5 7 7 7. You see how my birthday's 5 7. So it's like 5 7 5 7 7 7. Um, but of course, that date, I think it's uh, 15 IR uh, 57 7. Or, no, sorry, I, I think I got the wrong. I have to look it up. But anyway, a lot of sevens, a lot of fives that I keep popping up and then 94 89 and again you're gonna see you've seen this in my previous videos why 89 is significant 48 is actually my age right now and then you got 99 pattern um, 89 I believe it's like the uh, 12th uh, FN or in the Fibonacci golden uh, sequence or spiral or well, it's actually God's uh, golden uh, fingerprint it's uh, I think the 11th, okay, in the sequence. So you got 89, and then again, um, let me actually let me drop down here and explain. That. Then you got it's 25 years, 11 months, and 23 days, and that's why I circled up here. You'll see 25. Actually, this is not a date. I will make that clear. That's 25 day result. That's January 11th, okay. That's where I got the 11th, and then the year uh, 2023. So there's a 23. So you got like an exact match right there. You know, you can see that, you know, it's absolutely incredible. You know, God's behind the scenes. There's there's no doubt that, here, let me just uh, adjust this here. So if you take a look here, uh, 311 months, 23 days. And if you watch a lot of my videos, I've talked about Revelation 11.3. So possible connection there, you know, I feel God wants me to mention that, you know, almost every video I, uh, you know, I, I actually near the end of this video, I'll include that scripture. And if you're left behind, you know, the two witnesses will come to the scene. You're going to want to listen to them. They're going to the truth from God. Okay. And then we got 1,355 weeks, 55. And that's, I believe, the either the uh, ten, 10th or 11th in the in the Fibonacci sequence and again 89 is 11 or, I think it's 11 or 12 but uh, so that's and that's like double grace you know so basically end of grace possibly um, you know this is actually back in 74 but four days and then I'm going to jump over here May 7th 1974 I get my birthday to February the 5th so tomorrow at 70,806 days and there's my age 48 years 8 months and 29 days 40 means tabernacle that's what the the meaning is related to this number it means tabernacle so basically you know God uh, takes you out of here and, and you know his house <laughs> you know you're, you're removed okay and then 8 8 meaning eternity and 29 means resurrection or departure so pretty amazing numbers that are coming up 584 you know 5 mean grace 8 in eternity 4 uh, creation 29 again resurrection or departure and then there, there's the 25 43 again 5 days and again this slide I just just mentioned I was born again 57 5777 uh, I believe right around there I, I think it was just after Easter season um, so that was okay the result from August 8 2017 to February 5th 2023 is 2007 days that's when I think I actually was born again right around there that's five years five months 28 days 
Again, there's the fives coming up. 28 means eternal life. Uh, and then, I already mentioned this one here. I, a lot of matching going on here. So just, you know, incredible. Just absolutely incredible. This one I borrowed from the last last slide. But again, 577, 2007 days, 5 years, 5 months, 28 days. And the reason why I'm showing this again is because here, uh, January 28, 2007, that's when um, the Kaduri prophecy, the note that uh, Yitzhak Kaduri left his followers to release it to the public a year later. Okay, for, so he died in 2006. And then 2007, a year later, he they presented it. And it was a letter, and it had an acrostic, meaning basically a code, and it had instructions how to break it. And it spelled out the name of Yeshua or Jesus. Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, so absolutely amazing. You know, our Messiah, you know, the Jews' Messiah, uh, many are going to come to believe in Jesus Christ and accept him, especially a remnant. But, uh, yeah, so the result from that day, January 20th, 2007, to February 5th, so tomorrow's date, and you see they're both on a Sunday. And that's 5852. And that's 16 years, 18 days. Now, 16, you're going to see why that kind of relates uh, near the end of this video. And like I said, when the, I'm going to kind of wrap everything up. 16 means love. 8, again, means eternal life. And then 192, that could possibly could be read tw maybe uh, 29. Okay. And then 8 days, 836. And this is what I wanted to show you, too. 2 Corinthians 6, 2, this 2007 comes from. And again, you can read that backwards. That'd be 26. That's God's number. And I just want to show you too. This is oh, I, I actually forgot. Um, this is okay. Actually, I, I don't have I don't have the the actual slide that I wanted to show you. But anyway, to lay upon or to place upon is what that means. So this here. You know, makes absolute sense. You know, Jesus Christ. It, it, it was said, uh, Kaduri said that he saw Jesus in a vision. Okay, and he said that you know he's the Messiah, Jesus Christ the Messiah. And you know this me the message that he was given to give to the people. Okay, so that would totally make sense. So, so it absolutely makes sense to lay upon. So he. Jesus Christ uh, laid upon or placed upon or you know he added to give an addition you know he give a prophecy to Gadari to, to give to us okay to prove that his word is true that Jesus Christ is who he is and who he said said he was so it's absolutely incredible what that meaning is um, but uh, let me continue now, if you take a look here on the left side, November the 6th, 2000, um, or it could be 11 6, 2000. Just remember that. Um, that's when my dad passed away. That's 81 26. Um, again, you got 26 in there. God's number 22 years, which is, you know, significant. Uh, two months. Okay, 22 means light manifesting. Two, and then two is either union or division, depending as dual, duality. 30 days blood testimony and then again it's kind of interesting it's 11 60 weeks and six days so it kind of like matches here but then it then there's more if you go to january 6 1982 so it, and remember i've shown in many other videos they switched the months back and it was uh 153 ce um they switched uh it was what the 11 months of the first month and uh, so it's like, a, or sorry, yeah, one six nineteen eighty two. Sorry, I uh, I haven't got much sleep, so I'm really running on empty. Uh, so anyway, please bear with me. But anyway, it's fifteen thousand five days, forty one years, thirty days, and I'll show you why this is significant. The forty one later, and you get again the. 21, 43 weeks and four days. You know, he keeps coming up. And I want to show you this. This is when Kaduri passed away. January 28, 2006. 
All right, so you got 2006. So again, you're getting, you know, very interesting numbers that keep coming up. 6217. Again, it could mean uh, red backwards. It could be 26. And then 17 means victory. And then you got 17 years right here. 17 years means victory. 8 means eternal life. And we keep on seeing 24 in some of the slides in the annual. See why 24 can be significant. But here's really amazing results. 8, 8, 8 weeks. And a lot of people know that that is the Holy Spirit. So just incredible the revelation that's coming from these numbers. So I'm going to try to speed up here. I'm kind of going slow. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, and then this is this is when I was baptized. Oh, I actually got rebaptized. I was baptized as a child, but when I become born again, um, there's a backstory to this. I, I really didn't want to get baptized because. Um, you know, I read Paul's epistles, and, you know, it's not by works. You know, I recommend getting baptized because it's a, uh, you know, it is an outward declaration to everybody that, hey, you're a Christian, you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe the gospel. So, but I wasn't in a hurry to do it. Was, you know, I didn't, not that I didn't think it was important, but I was really kind of, the Lord was really pressing me in my spirit to get rebaptized, And... You know, so eventually I gave in. It was it was several months, and finally, um, I'll tell you real quickly. Um, it was a summer camp we've been going to for many many years, and it was in September, okay, nine sixteen actually. And finally, I I, I went up to the pastor there. Um, be, uh, it was actually right after. Um, the service was done, and I said, hey, uh, I'd like to get baptized sometime. And it was as though he already was expecting me. You know, he didn't hardly know me. From, you know, he's, I said hi to him before. He didn't know me from a hill of beans, the pastor. But he, he said, oh, yeah, come on, uh, just come in. We'll meet and uh, after, and I'll ask you a few questions and make sure you understand, and, and I'll take you right in the lake. I'll baptize you. And that was the only one, you know. That doesn't usually happen like that. So, and you know, it's late in the season too. But anyway, you know, it, it all happened just, uh, you know, it just came came to be. <laughs> I was I was baptized that that same day, and uh, you know, it's just amazing. You know, really, again, God behind the scenes. And yeah, this was the screenshot that I wanted to have the previous slide, but you know, I guess this is more appropriate. But anyway. The result again 1603 days all right and that's four years four months and 20 days again you see the four four okay very interesting like door can, can be mean four creation 20 days dual fulfill uh, fullness and then you see the 25 again and then the 22 9 uh, or uh, 29 there resurrection okay could mean rapture possibly the 29 and now when i got home that that day um you know again it was you know you see it's a sunday i you know i felt very very like very clear very loudly and i guess in the spirit that you know take a look um you know put 916 scripture verses you know in google and the first thing that came up was Exodus 9.16. And God, you know, he wanted me to read that. So I just thought that was just amazing. Like, you know, God wanted me to be baptized for a reason. You know, and that that's, you know, I just, just amazing how God works. It's just incredible. But anyway, I'm going to continue. Matt 1.1, 1, 1, again, very interesting numbers. 16.03, and is to fill full or to fulfill, to fill completely, fulfill in every particular, to the utmost, make good. So, I, you know, I believe, well, I, I don't only really believe, I know for a fact that God um, has all these dates, all these peoples, you know, connecting this, you know, this entanglement, you know, God, you know, control the, the lives of these people, you know, like Ron Wyatt finally are, he was behind that, 
you know, the the births, the deaths, even the names of these people he he named most likely. Um, and then, you know, my birth, of course, and all these these numbers are all connecting. All to glorify him, to show his power. And I believe it's it's getting us close, I believe, to the rapture and the the tribulation starting. You know, this this matrix and, and everything I've shown in several videos, but let me continue. I don't want to, like I said, keep this video. I don't want it too long so people can, you know, easily watch and share it. But anyway, again, from the Ark of the Covenant being found, 16982. And again, that can be known as 11. Um, in the Torah calendar, it's 11th month. That's why I keep on referencing that. But uh, February the 5th, again, that's 15,005 days. Interesting, and there's a 4 1 again, 30 blood, so blood testimony, and then 2043, the 43 coming up again, 21, and so 4 1, Revelation 4 1. I, again, the other video I mentioned that I, I was driving at work and I felt the Lord put it on my heart and say, Hey, look up uh, Revelation 4 1, because if you watch my previous video, there was 41 days uh, from uh, Christmas, okay, Christmas last year, you know, 2022, um, and that was, I believe, to the second or the third, it linked up to, so I, you know, I, I looked it up, and I just want to include this again, is this result come up with 41 again, so after this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice, which I heard was as it were a trumpet, talking with me which said come up hither and i will shew the things which must be hereafter so that is you know the rapture happening john's experiencing it you know this is you know in the future and this is you know what's going to happen you know we'll be called up to the clouds so that's definitely a rapture rapture uh, scenario burst and if you look at January 11, 2023, the anniversary of Ariel Sharon, the uh, you know former Prime Minister of Israel, to February the 4th, 2023. So today, when I'm making this video, that's 24 days. And look at this result: three weeks and three days. So that'd be the the time the ministry of Jesus Christ is aged when when he was crucified and the end of his his um, his work. His ministry, so that's three weeks, three days. So they said it could be 33. And then four, and I want to read the scripture actually, and I'll, I'll, t I'll uh, talk a little bit about it. The four and 20 elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. That's for sure. I, obviously, the Lord deserves all. The glory and power and honor and everything that I've discovered, you know, and everything I've done is to the credit of the Holy Spirit, you know, God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Jehovah, Jehovah, the great I am, the Alpha and Omega. So let me let me continue. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Revelation 4, 10, 11. So this again, this is referencing after the rapture. These are some of the elders, uh, I, I believe, that came out of, you know, well, came up in the rapture. So 4 and 20, so 24, there's a 24 connection there. I just, I just want to include that to show you. Now, this is very interesting. Um, you're seeing, this is my the matrix, matrixes. Now, I, is there two different ones here? Now, this one here on the left, this is the first one I received, and this is back May. 25th okay 2021 all right and again there's that 20 25 again and then the 11 uh, you got a 7 and then 9 you got the ones that are very prominent 911 you know there's just a little snapshot of it there's the 577 when I was born again you keep on seeing that the revelation sign again that was um, you know back in September the 23rd of 2017 which would be the same 5777 and this is a quote I believe the Lord put on my heart you know came to me 
when I was pondering, you know, about faith. And I just want to, it really helped me. I just want to read it to you. Faith is believing absolute, not looking back, forward only. Okay. You know, faith is so solid that, you know, you know, when the Lord gave this, I just want to say too, when the Lord gave this, um, I don't know, call it a mission, I guess. I knew that I could not fail. And I, I, I believe that I, I haven't failed. And if, if God, you know, I'm really surprised that, you know, I, I keep on getting more and more where I think I've already solved what I need to. But it seems like he's always got more breadcrumbs and more codes to break and, and more things to find. And But, uh, you know, I just amazing how God works. I just incredible how amazing, how good he is and how much wisdom and foreknowledge. I mean, how he can put all this together and all this detail. You know, this is not coming from me. Like, this is all, you know, most of this, well, 99% probably is, is, well, divine, you know, the given. But the 26, you keep on seeing that repeated. That's what God told me. I didn't know at the time. I didn't realize that 26 was his number, but that's what he told me in the spirit. When when, when he dictated, like, it's basically given to me in the spirit. I felt the power and the presence, and I, I was wasn't normal how I could process information and how fast I recorded this was absolutely ridiculous these are um, these here are the Fibonacci golden spirals you know this is just a small part of it but it probably only took I think it was around maybe 17 minutes to do all this and it's all basically to scale like like there's many times that I put all some keys whole bunch of keys together and it all fit you know it's just it's not of human origin, I can tell you. But, um, you know, I'm just an instrument that your, the Lord used, the Lord Jesus Christ used, the Holy Spirit, you know, God the Father. Um, so, but anyway, I'm not talking too much about it. I've talked about many other videos, but I just want to give a little bit of backstory for those that have never watched my videos. But anyway, here's our number system here. You know, ends with 89. Obviously, we know that. And then here is God's fingerprint or golden spiral it's also known as the Fibonacci sequence or golden spiral um, could be not. now sometimes it's zero one one or it could be one one and then two three five eight thirteen twenty one thirty four fifty five and eighty nine now this could be f10 or f11 and this one could be f11 or f12 uh, position in this in the um, sequence and um, you know you, I keep on Keep on seeing this number coming up several times. You'll see in my later slides. And these are all these dates that uh, we keep talking about. Keeps on falling in this small quadrant, the lower part of the sequence. Okay. And I mentioned before, uh, one of the other quotes that Phil the Lord uh, gave to me uh, several, well, at least a few years ago anyway. He said, uh, and it's, True intelligence is making the complicated simple. You know, God is showing his power by showing his fingerprint and his the dates possibly of big events all in a small, um, you know, part of his fingerprint, you know, which is everybody thinks it's the Fibonacci, you know, Fibonacci, it's it's tied to him, but, it, you know, the God, God allowed Fibonacci to discover it. And, uh, you know, but he doesn't get credit for it. It's, it's God's fingerprint. All throughout creation, you know, you know, from plants and, and, your, and your fingerprint to your face to, you know, anything just keeps repeating it in nature. Trees and uh, eyes of hurricanes, eye of tornadoes, like um, all over the place you're going to see that golden spiral. Okay, so. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that. Now here, I feel the Lord inspired me to put a uh, cross here. And and then I put 1-1. One, one, okay, 7 and the four, 74 in Tramatria is Jesus and also cross. Can be. They're both the same result. And here's how it's, let's spiral. You got 1-1, one, one, then 2-3. Okay, 7 and 4 is not in the sequence, but I put it on the cross. And then you got 20. 26, or you got a 6, 
Six to lean against the cross. That's really where you're at, the crossroads of the future. If you don't believe in Christ, you know, you're, this is your ch uh, chance. You know, do you, are you going to accept Jesus Christ? Are you going to believe what he's done and be saved? And, uh, you know, you can either perish, or, you know, and if you perish, you go to hell without Jesus. So, anyway, I put, I put this here, I believe... I feel the Lord put it on my heart to put it there because a lot of these numbers, this is all, again, that small part of the sequence. See, this keeps going out, 55, 89, and it keeps going. So um, it's just incredible how God operates. So this is where we're at. Uh, tomorrow is the 5th, and and then you've got the 6th, and the 10th. Okay, you see 13, 14, 15, and then to be Shavak. It's the, the Feast of the uh, Trees, right? The new uh, new Tree, uh, Rosh Hashanah, I believe how you say that. But anyway, look at the, the numbers here. 16, 17, love, seven, sorry, uh, 16 means love, 17 means victory. Then you got 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, we're seeing that same pattern. 89 and 9, 11. Okay, we're looking forward. 9-11 and then okay this here is like a key I feel feel fit right in place and I've I've showed this time uh, before but just this part here see I was born on a second Passover and the Lord said to me when he first gave me this divine downloads and this mission or this project for lack of better uh, words you know he he said it it's going to be like a, a Passover and also like Purim. So I always kept that in my mind. And, you know, I, I never forgot that, you know. And that's the thing, you know, I, many, like, that's just how my brain operates. I can go back many, 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 many years and I can remember the most minute detail and conversation or thing that happened, whatever. And then I can bring it all up and then I can arrange it and put it in like a grid and, and then solve things. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's that's God. You know, it's also how I've been trained, what I've done in my past and everything. But the Lord is, you know, take me an instrument, very rough at first. And he's polished me and sharpened me and, and made me an instrument, you know, to do do this. You know, what he, what he wants to do to, to his glory and his honor. But anyway, let, let me get back to this. Now, here we are. We got 5th February. This is May 5th, okay? 6th February, May, May 6th. And then, could this, could this Tuba Shavat, uh, Tuba Shavat, sorry, <laughs> um, is it the second Passover? You know, could, could this be the second Passover in the future? Because all nations, the, the Gentile nations, or even the Jewish nations, can be considered a tree. So, olive tree. Um, you know all the trees. So could that could that? I mean, it totally makes sense. Now I'm going to include a video after this of Stephen Fletcher. He did an amazing job, and again, you know, uh, information that I needed right now, like perfect timing, that he come up with this video that has information that is linked to what I've been doing here. You know. What, what God has given me, and you know, and that's again the power of the Holy Spirit giving Steve that information to give the people, and then of course to aid me. God knew that I would come across it. There's, you know, absolutely, that's that's a fact. Um, so look at how this all ties in again. Love, you know, you got sixteen seventy love victory. It's a perfect match. You know, you got one day a little bit different. But it's it's a perfect pattern, and then not only that, the Omer day you got 28. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go back to 26. 26, that's God's number. Okay, 27, that's um, the gospel, sharing the gospel. 28, that's eternal life. 14 means uh, it's tied with salvation, deliverance, and salvation. I think that was what it was. 29, resurrection. Um, or departure. 30 means blood testament. Okay. These are the Omer days. Uh, 30 blood testament. And 31 is bloodline. And again, I've talked about this in many videos. I don't like mentioning it many times. 
because it seems um, highly, um, well, lack of better terms, I guess, unbelievable, you know. But the Lord told me, he said, you're descendant of King David, Queen Esther, Queen, uh, King Xerxes, or the King of Persia, you can be known as, uh, King James, and I'm a distant relative to Jimmy Carter. In, in fact, my mom's maiden name is Carter. And I'm also related distantly, well, bo you know, both distantly to the president's, uh, President Donald Trump also. So, you know, just, it's incredible, you know. But uh, that, that's a fact, you know, God, that's what God told me. And um, and I, I believe I'm from the tribe of, of Judah too. So, um, you know, that's, you know, the Jews, you know, Paul made reference that the, the oracles were given to the Jews and salvation comes from the Jews. And I believe that, you know, because I'm part of the, the bloodline, that's why, you know, you know, partly both sides, my, my mom and dad are both descendants of King David. <clears throat> so that's probably, you know, that's probably why, you know, for whatever reason, he picked me to do this. And one of the reasons, because, you know, of, of my uh, lineage, I guess. So, I, you know, is, is, is this this key, is this linking up, you know, is this linking up to the possible rapture and the tribulation starting? See this red here? This could be maybe the end, uh, or sorry, the beginning, end of, end of this dispensation, and the beginning of the tribulation. And I have it covered here in this matrix, but 48, that would be, it looks like my last age before the tribulation would start. Okay, which makes sense. Tribu uh, 48 means tabernacle, and then 49 means God's wrath. So, and my birthday is coming up May 7th. So, um, I believe, you know, again, this is conjecture. I don't know for sure. I don't know the day or the hour, but I know I really feel, really feel what all these things happening with the comets, you know, with, with God waking me up all the time and not a lot of times let me sleep until I get what he wants me to do. I believe that we're really, really close and all this coming together. And I don't see, you know, I feel that the Lord is, you know, after this video is saying, hey, wait for the midnight cry. I, I, I believe that that's what he's put on my heart. And I don't know if there gonna be any more videos after this for this dispensation. I really don't. So, you know, I, t I hope people take this serious. <sighs> that uh, I really think we're, we're near the end. But um, I'm going to close out this video here. I, I can't believe how long I've been talking um, in this video. So, you know, is it is the rapture going to happen within day a few days or you know tomorrow or this week the tribulation sorry I don't know but this is like a almost like a perfect match and the Kaduri prophecy tying in the Ark of the Covenant the timing with that Arrow Sharona, uh, Sharon of course tied in with the prophecy you know all this matrix all these things are all tying in 9-11 you know a couple of times is showing up in my matrix that's all here. Everything, all the numbers here, the dates are all here. So it's absolutely incredible how, how God works. I can't say that enough. And how much God loves you, loves everybody, and wants to save everybody. And that's why he went to all this trouble. I can't even, the intelligence behind this is, I mean, I can't even fathom. I can't even, my, my tiny, you know, my tiny intelligence in, court, uh, in comparison to God, you know, it just it just shows you how what a great God that we worship and worthy of worship. So anyway, I, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to uh, include a video from Stephen Fletcher, which ties in. Now, remember the numbers he's going to talk, make a reference to, or at least in that one slide he has, 40 and 74. And again, that's when I was born, 1974. And now um, Israel is actually, he'll, he'll talk about it, but on the 7th of February, so in a few days from now, 
you know, it's going to be 74th anniversary. So again, in God's time, he gave me this information now and I break these codes and I find these connections and it's all, you know, timely manner. Like it's, it's right in the nick of time. Um, you know, it's God's timing. And he can wait till the last second and, and get accomplished, whatever. So um, I'm going to include that video. So remember, uh, 40, 74, the significance of that. And he talks about the prophecies fulfilled, which I've talked about in other videos that, that are line up, you know, what he's talking about. You know, it's the same Holy Spirit, you know, that's inside him. You know, he's a good brother in Christ. And, and you know, Holy Spirit, of course, I'm a born-again believer. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, He is the Lord and Savior of everyone that chooses. you got to believe in His finished work, His blood sacrifice. Okay, I'm going to end this video here, but again, the, you're going to see the um, video from St Stephen Fletcher. Thank you. God bless. Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is February 4th, 2023. I'm going to try to wrap everything up here in a nutshell from Israel's first government at on Tubi Shavat, February 14th, 1949. This was the first Knesset session, the first established government of Israel and the beginning of the fig tree generation on Tubi Shavat, February 14th, 1949. From here, we have our 69th and 70th anniversary of Tubi Shavat. There were two blood moon eclipses on January 31st, 2018 and January 21st, 2019. This is our 69th and 70th anniversary of Israel's government on Tubi Shavat. Then on December 29th, 2022, we have the new government of Israel that was sworn in there 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 have been three or four different years now where there has been no government of israel there were two benjamins in power and there were still no government formed well on december 29th 2022 the government was sworn in benjamin netanyahu was sworn in and they had the first knesset session of the new government of israel December 29th. Then we have what looks to be our final 40-day warning to Tubi Shabbat. 40 days to February 5th and 6th to be Shabbat. And this is the anniversary of Israel's first government in 1949. And it's 70 plus four years. The 70 years of Israel plus the four-year delay of the fig tree. And on February 5th and 6th, the comet that has been our sign that we have been seeing and following since Hanukkah is in the constellation of Auriga. And this is the constellation that represents the shepherd gathering the sheep on Tubi Shavat, February 5th and 6th. So we see that the prophecy of Israel is that 70 years are determined from the order to restore Jerusalem. Jesus gives us a parable of the fig tree that the generation that sees the rebirth of the fig tree shall not pass until all these things have been accomplished. Daniel shows us that there are 70 years, 70 weeks are determined. Then we have another parable in Luke 13. It talks about the planting of the fig tree. For three years now, I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should you use up the soil? And so we have the parable of the fig tree, the 70 years, and then we have a three-year delay. And then in the prophecy of the, of the fig tree, in the parable of the fig tree, there's one more year given. Give it one more year. And if it does not bear fruit, then cut it down. So what we have here then is the 70 years of Israel plus the four-year delay of the fig tree, three years coming to look for fruit on the fig tree, and there has been no fruit, and then one more year was given. And now we are at Tubi Shavat number 74.
This is all connected to everything we've been watching leading up to the comet. And now what we can see is that from the Knesset meeting and the new government of Israel being sworn in on December 29th, it's 40 days to Tubi Shabbat, February 5th and 6th. This is what I wanted to share. I just wanted to give you a quick summary update. And uh, I'm sorry, this is just a quick update because I don't have a lot of time to continue right now. I've got some commitments, but I wanted to get this out to you guys. So I pray you guys are blessed. Have a wonderful day. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed. What I'm going to do now is share some very important scripture verses with you. Now I'm going to start with Psalm 9010. Now the days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away now my interpretation or or what this verse is saying now is really i think changed on what is happening in the, in the end time timeline right now with the Feast of Trees, you know, I think it relates to the cutting off of trees, possibly. I think God is hinting that, you know, maybe the rapture and the tribulation starting, you know, when God goes back to work with the Jews in the tribulation or Jacob's trouble. Now, this is, this is just conjecture, but it is possible. Okay, four score, maybe he's hinting, you know, you, if you've seen the Stephen Fletcher video, about the four-year uh, parable of the tree of the fig tree where you're going to cut it down and give it three years and and then you're going to give it one more year and then if it doesn't bear fruit cut it down now could that mean okay 70 three score years and 10 that's 70 and could the lord be hinting to us it's it's four like 74 again total conjecture but it's very possible. And when that happens, we fly away. You know, I, I always thought that, you know, this is when the Jews would go to, to Petra in captivity and they'd be protected away from, you know, the Antichrist with the final three and a half years in the Great Tribulation. But I really believe, I, I don't know, I, f I feel that my interpretation you know, I know the Bible is not a private interpretation. That's why I'm saying it's conjecture. You know, but I'm just thinking I would pray about this and see what the the Holy Spirit, the Lord God reveals to you. You know, the Father, you know, Jesus Christ reveals to you. And, uh, you know, after, after you watch Stephen Fletcher's video, you know, I, I think the Lord put it on heart to share that video, obviously. And at this time, you know, it's God's timing. It's, you know, how God works. I, I just, the process he's shown me, you know, it's, it's, it's a process. It's like bread comes, he leaves, you know, you walk in, you walk into these works to do that are preordained for you, that you'd walk in them in, in the future. If you see Ephesians 2 verse 10, and you understand that verse truly, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And you, you probably, if you've been born again Christian for a while, you probably understand what I'm talking about. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. I just want to share that with you, see what you think. But if that is true, you know, I feel the Lord put it on my heart to share this verse with you today. In, in this timing, it's very possible that maybe you know, the, the Feast of the Trees, Tuva Shavuot, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but is it tied in with the rapture and tribulation starting? I don't know. Again, this is total conjecture. You know, it could be way off. It could be, maybe this is a, a mirror of, of a time in the future. I don't know. Or, um, you know, a, a stepping stone or, you know, or, um, I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to continue. 
Now, I want to share this verse with you again. It's Revelation 11.3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand, two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. So if you're watching this video after the rapture has happened, after a whole bunch of people are missing, and all chaos is breaking out, and you know that the rapture has happened and you're in the tribulation, you know, you're going to want to look to the two witnesses because they're going to get the, the direct truth right from God. And they'll, they'll show you how to be saved. Okay, and of course you can open your Bible and you can read about Jesus Christ, you know, the gospel and understand, you know, it's all about Jesus Christ. The gospel is centered around Jesus Christ, his finished work. It's not about, you know, all false religions say it's, you know, they have different gods, of course, that are false, and, and they all of them talk about, you know, if they get into their heaven, which is false, that you got to do works. Or if any Christian denominations say you have to do works to be saved, again, that's false. There's a lot of false doctrines going around. You know, it's if you read Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And I feel the Lord wants me to share the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, I'm going to share three, the verses 3 and 4. Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Again, he repeats according to the scriptures two times. There's a reason for that, because he wants you to know his word you know, direct from the Bible, okay? And then the two witnesses, of course, they're going to provide the word coming from God that's going to help you. You know, you cannot follow the beast. You can't take the mark of the beast. Don't take any vaccines that, you know, it's all about, let me let me just say this, because I don't, because all of the censorship. Satan wants to change God's image into a beast and he's through the DNA so don't don't take jabs from this time on okay you know there's a reason why a lot of born-again believers I'm not I'm sure there's some born-again believers that took the shot because they're for, a lot of times forced into it with their job but a lot of people have resisted doing it and, and the reason is because the Holy Spirit told them not to get it and there's so many people but anyway do not follow any laws that go against God's word go against God okay and there the, the B system will create laws that will make you force you to do things that are against God you can't do that you can't worship the beast you can't take his mark you can't take a computer chip tattoo or anything like that you got to believe believe that God will provide he will provide if you believe you got to believe his word his gospel believe in Jesus Christ and he will provide he'll provide protection supplies food water you know what you're gonna need and it's gonna be absolute chaos and you're gonna have to cling to God in his word and again turn the two witnesses but anyway there is hope you can be saved. God has a plan to save you. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you, you know, there is hope. So don't give up. So I'm going to end this video here very shortly. Now the, actually one more uh, scripture verse I want to share with you. Now Romans 10:9. Let me read this for you. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved that's a guarantee you know if you if you believe in your heart you confess you know when you're in the tribulation when chaos is coming and your life might be snuffed out in seconds you know it might be your last breath call in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and he will save you he'll have mercy on you but you gotta believe Believe Jesus Christ is who he says he is. All this information you're seeing is proving that God is true. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yahweh, Great I Am, Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the Almighty. There's no one greater than him. 
none of this stuff could have been happened randomly and by chance and or or made up it's you're not going to make this up um it's, it, it had to be outside of this time dimension time and gravity has no you know it, it does it's no restriction to god he's not in our time i mean he comes and goes and he can come and go in this time dimension but he's you know outside you know this time dimension that's how he can give prophecies okay that happen in, in the thousands of years later and um but anyway the next the next slide there's no audio for for reasons you'll see you know of course censorship so uh, i want to end this video please like and share this video with all your family and friends if you feel led by the holy spirit and um if you know i just know that uh you know, I really believe that uh, you know rapture and tribulation is starting soon. So please share it with your family. It's crucial to share with them. Let them know that uh, about the rapture. Even a lot of them will, you know, say you're, you know, you're crazy or whatever. But plant that seed and just mentioning it once might be, you know, save them from the deception. And they know, oh, you know, hey, that could have been the rapture. Well, you know, well, how could all this happen? You know, plant that seed. They might open the Bible and learn that, hey, they were. These crazy, these Christians or these people that believed in Jesus actually were telling the truth. Okay, so anyway, um, again, I'm gonna end here. God bless you. I love you all. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ worth all praise and worship. You know, thank you, Jesus Christ, for all you've given me, and you know, thank you so much, brothers and sisters that's helped that helped me too. I you know, I don't know if this is my last video in this dispensation. Um, but if not, I love you all. Hope to see you in the clouds. God bless you. You are not hidden There's never been a moment You were forgotten You are not hopeless Though you have been broken Your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath There is no distance It cannot be covered Over and over 
You're not defenseless I'll be your shelter I'll be your armor I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear your SOS Your SOS I will send out an army To find you in the middle of the dark Night is true I hear you